Dear comrades, I bring warm greetings and best wishes on behalf of the Iraqi Communist Party to your international conference and all participants. The initiative by the Fertile Communist Party of the USA is highly appreciated as it contributes to international solidarity and strengthening the relations between young communists and their joint struggles to build a better world. It is also a unique opportunity to exchange valuable experiences and provide insight into struggles taking place under the specific national conditions all over the world. Dear comrades, Iraqi communists, along with the Ferdinand parties and progressive forces in the world, continue to face global and local challenges. World peace and humanity are today facing grave dangers which constitute the greatest threats since the Second World War and the end of Cold War, including threats to use nuclear weapons. The continuing war between Russia and Ukraine has been exploited by imperialist powers led by the U.S. and NATO to fuel war hysteria as well as far-right movements, populism, racism, and fascism. We have joined peace-loving forces in the world in condemning this, this war and calling for its immediate end and for negotiation to ensure the right of both people to live in peace and security. We have also called the ending of illegal U.S. economic blockade in Cuba and criminal violation of human rights of human people. In the Middle East, the people's struggle against imperialism is closely interconnected with fight for peace, national sovereignty, freedom, democracy, and social justice. We call for international solidarity with the just struggle of Palestinian people to end Israeli occupation and for the right to self-determination to set up their own independent national state on their homeland with Jerusalem as its capital. We have also called for an immediate end to the continuing bloody war in Sudan, which is a power struggle among the military rulers and is fluid by foreign interference. We call upon you to support legitimate aspiration for Sudanese people and their democratic forces for freedom, social justice, democratic, civil rule. Dear comrades, 20 years of U.S. war and occupation, Iraq is still suffering of the consequences of ongoing deep structure, structural pro, uh, political crisis and endemic corruption. The root cause of this crisis is ethno-sectarian power sharing system that was installed after that war and the end of Saddam dictatorship in 2003. Young people constitute more than half of the population of Iraq, which is estimated 43 million. The employment rate for the people aged between 15 and 29 years is nearly to 23%, according to official figures. It is much higher among young women at 56%. The gap between the rich and poor continues to grow wider, despite Iraq being the sixth largest oil producer. Iraqi young people have been actively involved in mass protest movements against the rule of political sectarianism and corruption, calling for change. The protests that es uh, escalated since 2011 expressed the desire for truly democratic Iraq based on the principle of Citizenship, uh, citizenship, respect for human rights, and achieving social justice. A gorgeous popular uprising erupted on 1st October uh, 2090 as a result of vicious rep uh, repression by security forces and militia targeting young peaceful protesters. More than 800 were killed and 2,000 injured. Six of our comrades, young Iraqi communists, were among the minority. Despite the bloody suppression of that heroic uprising, the protests are continuing against the political bankrupt system and corruption. 
Iraqi communist youth are also actively involved today in various fronts of struggle, including in the fight of women rights and trade union rights and defending human and democratic rights. They are also active participants along with the social movement in confronting the huge environmental challenges that, that the country is facing. Iraq is the fifth most effective country by impact of climate change as a result of water policies by neighboring countries, Turkey and Iran. Iraq is in danger of becoming a land without rivers by 2040, with the drying up of Tigris and Euphrates rivers. Dear comrades, Iraqi communists, along with democratic forces, are continuing the fight for comprehensive change and building a democratic civil state based on social justice. In this difficult struggle, we look forward to your continued support and international solidarity with the Iraqi people and democratic forces. Allow me once again to express our high appreciation of organizing this international conference, wishing it very every success, long live peace and international solidarity. Thank you.